Hi everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome and welcome back to Angela's Fashion Mix. I hope you've had a fantastic day. And if you are new, I thank you for watching. This is where I talk about fashion and things related to fashion. I offer style tips, and recommendations as to how to possibly get through those clothes that are in your closets and enjoy doing so. And just share my love of clothes and all things related to clothes, shoes, the hats, everything in between. And I do thank you for stopping by. And while you're here, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share if you find value here. Today's video is about our somewhat impromptu trip to Charlotte. Neither my husband nor I have been to Charlotte in over 30 years. And needless to say, things are a bit different. We concentrated our time in the area called Sharon. Everything seemed to be Sharon something. And uh, that's where our hotel was, which I highly recommend. It was the Hilton Garden Inn. And that was across from South Park Mall. Let me tell you about this mall. I knew about Neiman Marcus and I knew about Nordstrom. I did not know the extent of how many other luxury stores were in this mall. And you'll see quite a few of them in the video, but there's also J. Crew, there's Madewell, there's Chanel, Tory Burch, and a multitude of others that I just couldn't get to. I just wanted to share them all with you. I'm not one to assume anything and affordable is different things to different people. I do not assume that luxury is not affordable to you who are in my audience. So this mall experience was by far, I think, the, the heaviest concentration of luxury stores that I've seen in one space. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. This is one reason why I shop thrift and why I shop consignment is because those items, a lot of times that are originally purchased at a luxury or a high-end store are going to end up in a consignment store or in a thrift store. So I'm getting that item at a more affordable price. So there's something for everyone. So I, I had an absolute wonderful time going from store to store. I spent a bit of time at the fragrance counters. So I hope you enjoy our walk through the mall. So there is a Goodwill boutique in Charlotte. You heard me, there is a Goodwill boutique in Charlotte. So I talked to a couple of different people to kind of see if there are more locations wherever. And one person told me that was the only one that she knew about. And so I got to explore that a little bit. But it really does feel like a boutique. It looks like a boutique. It's arranged like a boutique. It feels like a boutique in all that we know boutiques to be. And uh, so I did pick up a couple of pieces for myself as well as for a couple of other people. And I had an interesting encounter at the Goodwill Boutique. So we initially went in and just kind of feeling it out. I asked if I could video and all of that. And once I started to just look around and, and started to shop a little bit, I realized it was going to take more time than what I thought. So we decided we wanted to go have lunch and come back. So I asked if I could hold the things that I already selected. That was fine. We went next door to Jersey Mike's. And when we came back to the store, I was looking at one of the racks, right? Just kind of walked in and started with that rack there. And as I looked up, a woman was coming toward me. So she was she was looking at me in a way that made me look at her. So I'm looking at her, looking at me. You probably wouldn't believe how often someone says, you look like my, or I thought you were my teacher or from wherever, or all kinds of things. People say, you look like my. So I thought this woman was going to say something similar because she had gotten close enough now to speak. I was expecting her to speak, but I thought she was going to say, oh, I thought you were mine. And she said, hi, are you Angela? So after responding, she said, I watch you on YouTube all the time. She has no idea in that moment 
what that meant to me. And I looked at my husband and he looked at me and turned and went wherever because he was in disbelief. And I'm standing here talking to this lady thinking, what are the chances that I walk into the store and she's just there? And I had the nicest chat with her. And I just want to take a moment to shout out and say thank you to Cheryl of Charlotte for speaking. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to chat with me. I am thankful for that. It was my pleasure to meet you. And that was the highlight of an impromptu trip to Charlotte. What are the chances? So I reconnected with my husband and he was just in awe that this moment occurred. So thank you again, Cheryl. And we continued to shop and just enjoy the store. It was a very nice experience. The staff was really helpful, very pleasant. I think we'll probably be going back probably maybe another time this year um, just to kind of see more of Charlotte. Like I said, it's been a very long time and there's just no way to pack it all into such. It was supposed to be a one day trip. And uh, so we just kind of spread it out a little bit. So the hotel staff told us about a soul food restaurant called Nana's Soul Food. So for dinner last night, we tried that. That was pretty good. Uh, this morning we had breakfast at First Watch. We've eaten at First Watch here at home a few times, but typically for lunch. We've never had the breakfast. We'll be having the breakfast. It was amazing. And um, so on the way back, now getting hungry, we are very familiar with K&W restaurants, um, but we don't have them here. So we saw K&W in Burlington. And so we stopped there to eat dinner today. So needless to say, we'll probably be eating salad at least three days this week. And I've got to walk this week because I had a really good time with the meals we had. Because when I go away, I don't want to think about what I'm eating. I want to eat what I want and that's what I do. I don't deprive myself of anything. So, um, but I do realize I need a counterbalance, but it was a good day and a half or so trip. And uh, so we'll probably be going back some other time this year now that we've kind of reintroduced ourselves to Charlotte. A couple of my Instagram followers told me that they are planning a trip to the boutique. So I hope they enjoyed that. And um, I'll be showing you a couple of things um, in my upcoming video, but just wanted to make you aware that the Goodwill Boutique is there as well as the South Park Mall that has all of the luxury stores, everything probably that you want if you're looking for luxury goods. Everyone do have a great rest of your week. Happy Easter, and I will see you the next time.